Roy, what did I tell you about offering help? Don't. Correct. But can't we This just... is not a debate. You must learn focus. Our journey need be your only concern. But what if they can help us? I won't seem to know a little about the lake. And how does that help us with our goal? We won't know unless we ask. The world serpent's even over here. I told you he's big. So, what other stories have you got? There was a horse. The horse sought vengeance upon his enemy, the stag. But he could not kill the stag alone. The horse met a man, a hunter, and made a deal. He took the man's bit and bridle and allowed him to ride in the saddle on his back. Together, they killed the stag, and the horse tasted victory. But the hunter would not release the horse and made a slave of him. So getting revenge cost him his freedom. Hope it was worth it. It was not. Well? Well, what? The brazier? If you must. Boy, over here. Yes, sir. Kaveka. to see him get theirs. So you died after all the flooding? Indeed. I came to the Lake of Nine to pillage Tyr's temple, but I underestimated the severity of the desolation. Have you seen other men? Living? 
A bearded one with tattoos. Only the one standing in front of me. Thank you both for avenging my death. Useless. Well, we can't expect them all to know something useful. We should look for more like this. information keep your expectations low boy spirits are rarely useful how do they even exist when you sever a man from his life it is not always a clean cut so you've met other spirits yes many what were they like annoying i wonder if the world serpent even knows part of his body's lying over here shot. I can't read these either, but they're different from the others. here and there, but we need the rest of the language disc. other stories have you got? There was a tale of a frog. His pond had dried up, so the frog and his son left to find a new home. They found a well.
son saw the water and made to jump in, but the father stopped him. He saw the well was deep, and once inside, they would not be able to escape if the water dried up again. Wisely, they moved on. That's it? Yes. That's really not a story. If the son jumped in, it would be a story. Then he would be trapped and starve while the father watched helplessly. See? That's a story. One more for the collection. Almost. If we could just find the other pieces of the language disk. I can't translate this without the whole cipher. never seen a waterfall so big.
me, God of Thunder! Your challenges mean nothing to the gods, spirit. They do not listen. Do not mock my pursuit of vengeance. Though my family devoted their lives to worshipping Thor, I've devoted mine to his downfall. And I will start with that statue looming over my father's grave. Unlikely. You are dead. Is there something we can do? For a reward, of course. If you bring down the statue, you have my blessing to loot my father's grave. He rests on an island to the east. Why do you hate Thor so much? After my father passed, my mother built the statue to watch over his grave. Imagine our surprise when the God of Thunder himself came to offer condolences. At first we were thrilled, but he quickly took advantage of our hospitality. My mother begged him to leave, and Thor, in his drunken rage, killed her. I was left with nothing but grief. Eventually I lost that as well, and found only rage in its place. I... I'm so sorry. Come, boy. We have a statue to destroy. father's grave lies on an island to the east. Do not mistake my mother's statue of Thor with that monstrous eyesore to the south. The one whose mom was killed by Thor? What about him? Will his story be a reminder? The lives of men mean nothing to the gods. I know, Father. You know. But do you listen? Yes. <laughs> Good. So, what other stories have you got? There was a young man who was caught stealing and condemned to die. His mother came to visit his prison. She was a kind woman who could only give love. But her son, the thief, met her with rage and bit off her ear. What? Why? Because the boy had always been a thief. And his mother had taught him only love and nothing of consequences. Had he been taught discipline instead, he might have lived longer. Sure, but... Her ear. That's not right.
Come. Good. Now when you're done gawking, I got a favor to ask. What is it, Dwarf? There's this alchemist on... Sorry. Been working out in the Vellander mines. Haven't heard from him in maybe, I don't know, a hundred winters or so. Probably dead, but uh, maybe you can find him. He's dwarfing like me. Wears a fancy green ring. Owes me a favor. You look? If it is on our path. Oh, I see how it is. Not a something for nothing type, are you? Fine. If you find Donvari, I'll make him whip you up something special. This entry stone here ought to get you inside those mines. The Vellander Mines is right through these doors. Might as well have a look see inside, don't you think? I need that alchemist for something I'm stewing up for you. If in your smarts, you'll find him. Read it. Uh, these runes read death inside. said his friend was dwarven like him wearing a green ring look if you wish i will be gathering resources for our journey you don't want to help him no why not because i do not run errands for dwarves dwarven but no ring one of his crew scorch marks there along the floor and wall weird I guess we keep looking. We? I mean, I'll keep looking. Than that. Then do not drop your guard. Come. 